For medical staff on the front lines of the COVID-19 virus, ways of treating critically ill patients has become very important. Now, one such software is called Mural, and it's been developed by GE Healthcare that allows clinicians and doctors at the bedside to virtually collaborate with remote specialists to oversee large numbers of patients in ICUs and discuss treatments. I visited Mural specialist Aaron Hart in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, who talked me through the demo. This looks instantly impressive. I have seen this before, if I'm honest, and it was in a teller ICU. Yes. So how is what this software is doing under the global pandemic different to what teller ICU has been doing for a while? What makes this different is that fundamentally it's really difficult for hospitals to deliver really high quality, efficient and safe care and do that at scale, right? It's hard to do, and it becomes even harder when you have a pandemic like COVID-19, where that drives staff shortages. It also increases your patient load uh, and the dynamic uh, cases that you get in. So what this does is it will automatically, through different care bundles and protocols, which healthcare systems define themselves, will prioritize which patients you actually need to be paying attention to and when you need to pay attention to them and then we'll allow you to actually take care of that patient and change the course of care for that patient. What is it about Mural that gives you an edge over technology that was existing before the pandemic? By digitizing all of this real-time data that we pull in from the bedside, from EMR systems, lab system, medication systems, we can not only display all of that information for a clinician to be able to view remotely without having to go into the patient room, but we can also run rules and algorithms, such as looking at basic care protocols and ensuring that you know, patients that are, say, on a ventilator are actually being properly cared for and the proper protocols and procedures are being followed and helping them do that in real time across a lot of patients. The first hospital in the US to use Mural is OHSU based in Portland, Oregon. Earlier on today, I spoke remotely to Dr. Marshall Lee. He's a critical care specialist that uses Mural. And he told me that managing an exceptionally large number of COVID-19 patients in a traditional ICU setting would be virtually impossible. What does a virtual ICU look like and how does it work? It's, it's a work area that has two or three different workstations where I would be sitting in one, a nurse would be sitting in another. and between the two or three of us, we would be managing 30 to 40 patients at, at this moment in time uh, to take care of individuals that we are not physically next to. What would that be like? What would the workload be like? What would the risks be like if you didn't have uh, that kind of software to help, to help manage this? Just the time alone to get from room to room, uh, taking on and putting on protective equipment, uh, it would be impossible to safely take care of all those patients all at once. Uh, but with technology and pairing with the, the team that's at the bedside, I can, I can help uh, relay information. I can help see if there's different management principles. I can help um, stave off another danger that might be happening um, and then move on to the next patient quickly so that I can help in, in that patient's room as well. And you're talking about patients in, in one building. Um, does, this, does this software have an application that can manage across different buildings in different locations? So I am currently not in the building that has, the, has our patients. Uh, and also using our virtual technology, we are taking, taking care of patients across three different hospitals currently, some of which are 10 miles away from us. Is this a statewide continuity of software that's being used? It's something that can be deployed statewide in that it's, it does not have to pair with the same exact monitor, same exact ventilator, same exact electronic health record. Uh, but fortunately for the physician like myself, I can see all those data points consistently for each individual, whether they are at my hospital or another hospital that we're helping take care of. Do, do you think if the worst places around the world uh, so the Wuhans, Italy, Spain, uh, New York City, if they had this continuity of this type of software that, that allows that uh, efficient collection of data, it could have changed the way that clinical specialists cared for critically ill patients during this crisis. Uh, definitely, I do think so. I, I think uh, this sort of technology is very powerful in what it can do. Uh, it can help one critical care physician oversee 
several different hospitals, several different ICU units, instead of having to call upon individuals to volunteer their time to travel across state lines to support, like uh, you could you could use telemedicine and, and a virtual platform to, to essentially achieve a similar end result in, in helping manage these patients. Thanks for your time.